It's that time of the year again for another Halloween episode of the Guitar Tricks channel with your host, Sharon Aguilar. Take it away, Tony. I mean, Sharon. <laughs> I'm Sharon Aguilar, your wicked guest host of the Guitar Tricks Halloween episode. And remember, my minions, if you're not watching this on guitartricks.com, you're missing an extra devilishly good and free lesson every week. Just head to guitartricks.com channel and enter your email address so the evil wizard Neil can deliver two free lessons to your inbox every week. Now it's time for my wicked tip of the week. If your guitar is ever out of tune, I learned this special magic trick from my dear friend, Tony Bones, who unfortunately couldn't be with us this year. <laughs> Put your ghastly first finger on the first fret of the low E string. Now, you might need to pay attention to me right now and very closely because this is very tricky and I don't want you to mess it up. So watch me. Now, take your fourth finger, stretch it all the way over, on your B string. You're watching? Good. Now, say these three magical words three times, but you have to say them just right. And whatever you do, don't say them backwards. Scare scroff stick. Scare scroff stick. Scare scroff stick. Now it's time for my favorite part the sinister guitar lesson. So we are going to begin on your low E string. You're going to take your first finger and put it on the fifth fret. Then you're going to take your third finger and put it on the seventh fret. Then you're going to take your fourth finger and go up a half step and put it on the eighth fret for that creepy, spooky Halloween sound. And then we're going to go back to your first finger on the fifth fret. So that timing will sound like this. Next part, you're gonna to go to your A string and you're gonna take your second finger, put it on the sixth fret. You're gonna take your third finger, put it on the seventh fret. And that's that sound again. So that phrase all together goes like this. Now we're gonna go on to the second phrase. It's very similar to the first one with a slight change about halfway through, I'll show you. But instead of going back to your first finger, we're gonna hit the low E open. We're gonna shift our hand to first position. You're gonna put your first finger on the first fret. You're gonna take your third finger, put it on the third fret. And you're gonna hit your low E string again. So it'll sound like this. So together that second phrase is. And actually, let's throw some attitude on it. Instead of doing the alternate picking on that part, I think that what we should do is use downstrokes and make that last note very staccato. That gives it attitude, so it's not the same thing the whole time. So the third phrase is exactly like the first one, except for we're gonna add some notes to the end of it. So let's play that part together. Now, what you're gonna do is take your fourth finger, put it on the eighth fret of the A string. Now you're gonna take all of your fingers and go down to the D string. So now that you have all of your fingers down on the D string, we're gonna go back one fret. So slide all your fingers over. And we're gonna walk up chromatically, which means that we're gonna go up a half step with each finger. We're gonna begin on the fourth fret with your first finger, your second finger on the fifth fret, your third finger on the sixth fret, and your fourth finger on the seventh fret. And that's the end of that phrase. So all together, it will sound like this. And now we're gonna end this phrase with an A minor chord. If you don't know what that is, what you have to do is take your first finger and bar it across the fifth fret 
So barring means that you're trying to hold down all the strings, all of them. And then you're gonna take your third finger and your fourth finger, and you're gonna put them on the seventh fret. One on the A string and the other one on the D string. And that's your A minor chord. And now you know how to play ghoulishly fun song. So while you're out on Halloween, make sure that you don't get eaten by zombies, have spells cast on you, or have a vampire get you, or anything crazy, because you have to join us again next week.